दिस इज आकाशवाणी द न्यूज रेड बाय अनुभा रोहतकी Prime Minister Narendra Modi today reached Vientiane in Lao PDR this afternoon on a two-day visit. The visit of the Prime Minister will further boost the country's relations with the ASEAN nations. Upon arrival, the Prime Minister was warm, warmly welcomed by the Indian diaspora. Ahead of his departure from New Delhi in a statement Mr Modi said he will participate in the 21st ASEAN India Summit today. On the sidelines of the summit the Prime Minister will witness Laoshan Ramayan performance. Phalak Phalam or Pralak Pra Ram This is the Lao adaptation of the ancient epic Ramayana as it is popularly known in Southeast Asia He will also hold bilateral meetings with member countries and participating nations He is also scheduled to attend the 19th East Asia Summit in Vientiane Highlighting the importance of India's Act East policy Mr Modi said he will join the ASEAN leaders to review progress in the comprehensive strategic partnership and chart the future direction of cooperation he said the east asia summit will provide an opportunity to deliberate on the challenges to peace stability and prosperity in the indo pacific region a huge crowd of admirers has gathered at the national center for performing arts ncpa in mumbai to pay their respects to the renowned industrialist and philanthropist ratan tata who breathed his last at the age of 86 at a hospital in Mumbai last night his mortal remains are being kept at the NCPA lawns until 4:30 pm the final rites will be performed at burley crematorium this evening security has been beefed up in the area tributes are pouring in from across the country following his death president draupadi murmu vice president jagdeep dhankar prime minister narendra modi and several ministers and leaders have expressed their condolences on the demise of the renowned businessman The Maharashtra government has declared today as a day of mourning in the state and also cancelled all government events for the day. Home Minister Amit Shah has asked industries in the country to increase their scale and size. Addressing the 119th annual session of the PHT Chamber of Commerce and Industry in New Delhi today, Mr Shah said companies have to dream big and make it global. He said chambers and industries need to come together to make this dream possible. The minister said the government has removed over 2000 outdated colonial laws, reformed the Companies Act from criminal penalties and eased over 39000 compliances. In West Bengal, the meeting between the junior doctors and the state government has failed without any conclusion. A meeting had taken place last evening at State Secretariat Nabanna, Kolkata. The meeting was chaired by Chief Secretary Manoj Pant. and attended by the state home secretary nandini chakravarti and dgp rajiv kumar after the meeting the doctors said that the government of west bengal is not serious about their demands and no written assurance was given by the state government the doctors said their agitation and hunger strike will continue The Durga Puja festival is being celebrated with religious fervor across the country particularly in eastern states like West Bengal, Assam, Tripura and Odisha. Our Assam correspondent reports that almost all puja committees across the state have designed the makeshift Durga Puja pandals with various motifs and themes to attract people and disseminate constructive messages. Prime Minister Narendra Modi prayed to Goddess Mahagauri on the 8th day of Navratri today seeking the well-being of all devotees. In a social media post, Mr Modi wished for prosperity and happiness in the lives of all her devotees. The India Meteorological Department IMD has forecast heavy rainfall over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Konkan, Goa and Madhya Maharashtra during the next 2 days. The IMD has also predicted heavy rainfall over Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karaikal, coastal Karnataka and south interior Karnataka during this week. In badminton, India's Kiran George and Lakshya Sen have advanced to the men's singles pre-quarter finals of the Arctic Open 2024 in Vanta, Finland. Kiran defeated the world number 25 Wang Zhu Wei of Taiwan in straight sets while Sen got a walkover. And that is the end of this news bulletin.